Hi everybody, Planet Walls here. Um, a classic DE just fired, and I want to show off the deck that I'm playing. Um, doesn't look playable to me, but they never do. Uh, I'm gonna do these really quick, or do this really quick this time. So seven ramp spells uh, in the form of creatures, two removal spells here, um, two missteps, four brainstorms. A lot of these things are fairly self-explanatory. I could talk about them more. Uh, this is a four-color deck that's based on Zur the Enchanter. Um, it's supposed to be kind of fun, but I think it's actually playable. So this is a format of first turn wins and other things, but we have our forces and we have our missteps. So we're doing what we can to avoid that. Um, and then we have some assorted hate cards down here. Uh, so what are the enchantments that we're bringing in? Well, Ice Cage can deal with Welder, can deal with other small guys. Um, Steel closes out the game, gains some life back. Solitary Confinement sets up a lock with Steel and, uh, or I'm sorry, with Snake Umbra. Um, Snake Umbra draws cards. Back to Basics can mana screw our opponents. Detention Sphere is all-purpose removal. And Energy Flex can screw over the artifact decks. Then we have, um, some assorted creatures that actually close out the game or lock up the game in other situations, basically other threats. Mana Base has four caverns and actually two City of Brass. I'm using Chris's strategy from the Invitational. Um, assorted Fetch Lands, a Caracas, and, uh, Dual Lands. Um... So, a couple different outs and win cons. It's fairly quick to ramp into Zur and enough counter magic, hopefully, to hold off some of the control decks. Um, essentially, this is a format that hasn't been... Well, because of the announcement of Jace and Tanglewire in From the Vault 20, or whatever it is, um, people have been selling their Tanglewires and Jaces online. So, we expected a metagame without those things, and that means it's the perfect time for Zur the Enchanter, uh, in my opinion. So... The sideboard has uh, some other assorted removal spells. It looks kind of like a hodgepodge. Mana Vortex can close out the game against decks that um, basically don't have many lands on the table and aren't artifact decks. Back to Basics is better against the artifact decks. Um, Shielding Plax is a bit of uh, protection for Game 2 for Azur. Um, and then there's uh, Greater Oromancy, which you bring in in case they're going to bring in uh, Abrupt Decay. I guess it gives other enchantment shroud. It doesn't give itself shroud. That's okay. Um, Island Sanctuary is like another form of the solitary confinement strategy. Um, there's a second rest in peace for graveyard-based matchups. Mine Harness is good against Tarmogoyf, uh, opposing uh, Trigon Predators and other things. It can finish the game very quickly. Also, I expect Young Pyromancers to be frequent. Pernicious Deed, uh, it's a good removal spell. You can... Do it for zero and knock out a bunch of artifacts, which is nice. Um, Stony Silence is good against Affinity. There's another removal spell in the form of Detention Sphere. This is also good against Artifact X Shop, um, which are probably going to be less prevalent. Illness in the Ranks is good against Affinity. It also has uh, an effect against Dredge and also against Oath, because you can eliminate the Spirit Tokens that they give you so their Oath doesn't trigger... Um, it also is good against the Young Pyromancer decks that I imagine people are playing. There's a third misstep in the board for matchups where they're playing lots of one-drops. And then Serenity is an all-perfect, all-purpose all artifact and enchant removal that you look for first, uh, against some decks. So, um, hopefully that should be clear enough as to why everything is here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the show.